How was that night at the Oscars anyway? Oh, God, it was great. Mm -hmm. But the most amazing thing, uh, you know, I don't get around, you'd be surprised. I don't get around a lot socially. Uh -huh. I don't go out a lot. It's not, it's not that I'm one of those little old ladies who stays at home, but it, that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. So when I do something like the Oscars or something really sport, important and special, I, when I go out, I go out. Well, there's the gown. I mean, come on. You were in that gown, that's for sure. And that poses everything. Oh my goodness. And uh, then I went to the, uh, the Vanity Fair party. Yeah, did you have a good time? I had a fabulous time. Did you time. dance? And what I do, my date is my daughter. Because mm. I'm, you know, I'm widowed. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. I introduce myself to people that I admire. You yes. know, if it's somebody very famous, I don't feel shy. I go over and say, hello, I'm Rita Moreno, I love you. Oh, there's Fernanda, is she gorgeous or what? She's very gorgeous. Y'all look gorgeous together, lovely date. So I, said to my daughter, oh, look, there's Lenny Kravitz. Oh. Let's go say hello. She says, and she said. What'd you say, child? How did and, that go? And she said, do you know him? I said, no, but you know, <laughs> it's a party. And he was all alone. So I went to him and I said, hello, I'm Rita Moreno. And at that point, you're not gonna believe this. He fell to the floor Whoa. and he got on his knees. Uh -huh. And he just went on and on and on and on about how much he's admired me all these years and yes, all that kind of stuff. But you know, I nearly peed my britches. <laughs> how did you keep your cool? Oh, I didn't. You didn't? Keep my cool? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> I just said, ooh, thank you. <laughs> and I kept saying, really? Really? Because he kept telling me how since he was a young boy uh -huh. and all that, he loved me and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I just kept looking at my daughter and saying, Ah, yes. But I was astonished. Wow. That was marvelous. It sounded like you had an amazing night. I gotta ask you, how many Oscars have you been to? About six, six? something like that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. I mean, I, I go when I'm invited. What oh. the hell? Yeah, but like, you, you're the person that we I all mean, aspire to be. I mean, am I gonna to sit be? up in the mezzanine? Hell no. <laughs> I am Puerto Rican royalty, dear. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Speaking of that, the first Latina to win an Oscar, and you won for West Side Story. I did, and I did not expect to. I really, I did not expect to. I just came from Manila, the Philippines, where I was making a World War II movie in case this nomination turned into something. Uh -huh. I didn't think it would, because I thought Judy Garland would win for a drama that she made. You know, Judy Garland and a drama, that's major. Yes. And I thought, well, I'll be in the same category. That makes me proud. I know I'm not going to win. She is. And by, it's crazy. They called my name. Rock Hudson called my name. Mm -hmm. My mom was sitting in back of me and hugged me. You can see it on YouTube. Yes. You can see my mom hugging me. It was so Aww. sweet. And, uh, and I remember walking to the stage to accept it. And I remember saying, don't run. It's not dignified. Oh. And then I had no idea what I was going to say because I really didn't think I was going to you win. You didn't. And it is now a famous shortest It's like the shortest the Oscar, speech. Oscar speech ever, huh? It's something like, I don't believe it. And then two seconds later, I said, I leave that with you. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.